Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As usual, it's me again and it's pre-order weekend and as you all know, it's wave two of the Gloom Spike kits. So let's go into it and we'll have a little breakdown of what kits are there this week. Perhaps go over some abilities and see what we got to look forward to to get in our hands this time next week. So well, no further int introductions needed, just let's get on with the show. Right then guys, now that I've had my cup of tea, we are going to uh, break down some units. So, first up, we have got the Palooza set. It's £30, it's five models. They've got some unique rules, like all of them from what I can see. I've got a special save, which is if the model is if the model is targeted, so it doesn't matter which one, one model is targeted, on the first battle round you add two to their saves. In the second round you add one. So to get into combat with these guys, they got some staying power. So you know, you've got to take your big hitters and ones that you know we're going to stay about so that's made them really interested to start off with um and also they've got a minus one to hit for missile attacks so you're not going to shoot them out of the way but i've got a list of names so be with me and we're going to break them down name by First up, we have the Scaremonger. In the hero phase, on a 3 plus, a unit within 18 inches, and that's wholly within 18 inches of him, can re roll charge and run rolls until the next hero phase. So, if you've got units that are rolling behind and you need them to get in, you can get them up the board a bit quicker with this guy. And then the next one we got is the spiker so i had a quick look at his uh, rules and he gives the same setup so it's in the hero phase within 18 inches and there's only one unit um he can re-roll wound rolls so you know he's going to make him a little bit tougher you've got a brew get who is the same circumstances is a unit within 18 inches on a three plus they get to re-roll their hits so you've got to get them there to keep them there and to hit when they're there so it's a nice little mix between these ones but well, we got two wizards in the group now so i will break them down for you right now we're going on, on to the wizards. So we've got a Shroomancer. Right, his spell is casting value 6. It's called Fungoid Cloud. A unit within 8 inches of this model gets m minus 1 to attack. So it makes everyone a little bit tougher. Always good when uh, you've got little softies. And we've got the Bogli. And he's another wizard. Cast and value of six again. And a selected unit does not have to take a battle shot test. So we've got to get them there, to keep them there, to hit them while they're there, and they're going to stay there for another round. So it's a nice little buffer HQ choice, I think. So for 30 pound five models you can't fault it and each model is so stylized an individual they're going to each one is going to be a centerpiece for your army 
Right then, guys, if the uh, Gloom Spike Gets version of the A-Team is a little bit too hot for you, a little bit too spicy, you can always get a single model. He is the Loon Boss. He's coming out to you at £15. He's a cheap HQ choice. Um, I couldn't find his command ability. It was probably because my PC crashed and I lost the, uh, the file that I added on. But he's an amazing looking model. I believe I... He was 11 components, so you've got a lot in his kit to look at, and his base is fantastic. Just his own personal little mushroom army on there. So, like I said, if it was me, I would have gone for the uh, the Goblin A team. You know the the you the unit that is going to like support the whole of your army. So, but if you just want the one guy. Or if you just need someone to fill a space because you want to put your points somewhere else, here's your man for the job. Right then, guys, going out to the HQ choices, we've got a support squad here for you. They're calling themselves the Sneaky Snufflers. Sounds like something that would be in Blood Bowl, the Sneaky Snufflers, but they're a unit for your, for your army. So, what's in the kit? £25 for the kit, so you've got six models, and that's six grots, six, they call them snuffle squigs. It's a very unique um, dynamic for this uh, unit. It's a support squad, and it's supposed to be the, these squigs go rooting round the battlefield finding mushrooms. And these mushrooms give plus one to attack if this unit is wholly within 12 inches of another unit. So, it's a nice little unit that's going to spread out through your army and support it, your army as well. So you can spread your plus one attack. So, your little weedy grots are going to be hitting hard. And I keep calling them little and weedy, but from everything I've seen about this army, they got so many buffs. It's going to be scary being across the field from them. So, I think they're amazing models. They reckon these squigs, the catch for these is they're very customizable. Like they've said about all the other squig kits. But it's something about the piggy snout on a squig. It just makes them, you know, quite cute. I think I will pick these up to try and uh, get, get my little noob and uh, the wife involved in AOS. Let's see how that goes. Right, we're coming away from the grots now, and now we go in into the big heavy hitters of the uh, the army. First up, for £35, we've got the Rock Gut Trogots. This is an amazing looking kit. Each one looks so unique. It's just an amazing kit. i got to be honest, this whole army... It's been knocking it out of the park. It's just amazing to look at. GW's got to reach over and give themselves a pat on the back. Or if they can't do that, just give someone else a pat on the back so they can get one in return. The, when it comes to AOS, each model has just been getting better and better. But that's my opinion. Who am I to uh, tell you who your opinion, what your opinion is? Um, but that's for you to do. You tell me below. Do you like where these models are going? Or are they a little bit over the top view? Or you're just not bothered? You want to get them on the table to play them because you rather the rules? Tell me down below. But before I go off on a tangent, right, the Rocket uh, Trogaths. I've had a quick look at some rules for them. So here's a little taster. They got Regen, which is in the hero phase, on a 4 plus, they heal D3 wounds. That's a nice, big cushion for them. They also have stony skin, which means they can negate wounds on a 5+. plus. So you're not going to get it every time, but there's a good chance that you're going to get it quite often. And it's negating mortal wounds. That, that's amazing. That's a hefty rule to put anywhere in a unit. So these guys just 
they look menacing, they look sturdy, they rule show it. Absolutely phenomenal, amazing unit. Right, we're keeping on with the trolls at the moment. So up next is our first multi-part kit. So you've got two, two units in one. Coming at you at £40. It's a Dank Hold Trogoth and a Dank Hold Trog Boss. An amazing kit. It is so detailed, so unique when you look at each model. It's quite surprising that it's the same. It's the same kit. So let's go have a quick snippet of the rules. He's a troll, so he's got regen. He's got um, crushing grip, I believe, but I haven't got that in front of me. What's good about the, these trollbaths? This is the one that I thought was good. Add one to bravery for friendly gloom spike gets. So she had a couple of these dotted around, around as well. Not only are you like snufflers adding to your attacks, these are adding to your bravery. You've got your uh, gobberpalooza pushing people up as well. These are armies coming at you hard and fast and staying in your face. It's absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. But that's only one kit. That's your Trogoth. Now let's have a look at the Trog boss. And here's your Trog boss. He's looking menacing. He's got his meal with him. He's got his big stick. If he's coming to fight, he's hanging around for a while. He's even brought snacks. Again, it's an amazing looking part of the kit. I said it already. Can't believe it's the same kit. But what's good about this one is he's a HQ unit. So it's given you, even though it's gloom spite and we all think of gits and grots, it's, this book has got so many options. You can mix and match or you can like single them out. Granted, your trogots are going to be very specialised because I can see them being a, you know, quite a hefty point. But with regen and probably the strength bonus on these guys, it's going to be phenomenal. But you don't want to use my uh, prattle on. Let's have a look at uh, something unique on the wall scroll. So, like I said, he's a HQ, which means he's got a command ability. And that command ability is in the combat phase, friendly Trogoth units within 18 inches, and that's wholly within 18 inches, can re-roll ones. That's amazing. So, you were missing on that one. You're not missing again. That is phenomenal. And because he's a troll, he's got regen. So, we've gone over regen earlier. This is phenomenal. He is here and he's here to stay. I just can't get over this army. It's everything they're releasing. It's quite scary to be on the other side of. It's phenomenal how this is going to work. I can't wait to see it on the board. I, well, it's, my mind is blown. This has just been the most amazing start to 2019. But I still got another kit to go. So let's get into it. And here's that kit. Another multi-kit. It's the Mangler Squig and Loon Boss on Mangler Squid. As you can see, I got the Mangler Squid in front of us. That's an amazing looking model. And for that amazing looking model, it's coming out to at £50. So quite expensive. Out of all the single kits that I've shown you so far, this is the most expensive. So you want a lot of bang for your buck with this one. If you were to spend that much. So for this one they said it's really customizable. So many different things in this box that it's gonna be no two squigs should be the same. Because you've got that much variety. Now that's now that is a claim of epic proportions for an epic model. 
But what do you guys think? Is this the uh, crowning achievement so far this week? Did you prefer another model? Let me know down below. But like I've been doing the whole time, I've been pulling out a little snippet from the war scroll. See if you guys uh, like it. It's the Mangler Squid has got this rule called Watch Out. So if the model is slain, these big boys can possibly do some extra damage. So when the model is slain, for each unit that's within six inches of the Mangler Squid, on a four plus, suffers D3 mortal wounds. So killing it's not even gonna stop it. It's gonna land on you and it's gonna shit its pants on you and you're gonna take it. That's a mortal wound. You ain't gonna negate that often. So even in death, they're hitting you hard. It's phenomenal. So I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah, I do. There's an HQ on this. And like I said, here's the HQ. The Loon Boss. It still makes it an amazing kit. It's still a work of art. It still has Watch Out. But we've got a command ability. It's called Bite the Moon. It happens in the combat phase. Friendly squig unit wholly within 18 inches. Add one to the two wound rolls. So he's a, he's a hard hitting unit himself. He's also buffing, which is amazing. So if you were running your full squig army, you need this guy in the middle. This guy is, he's throwing shade as he's going up. He's uh, bringing his crew with him and they're going to hit you. They're going to hurt you. So I think he's epic. He's not a loon boss at epic. He's not, he's not the loon king at all. But he's still an epic model. What do you guys think? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed. It's been a bit different to my other pre-order videos. So tell me down below if you've enjoyed it. If you'd rather me just go over how the model looks and what the price is. It's fine by me. If you prefer me pulling little snippets out of a war scroll. So we can have a little discussion about it. Tell me down below. I'm happy to carry on doing it. But why do I ask you to put this in the comment? Because without you guys, the show is just me rambling to myself. It is the community channel for the community by the community. So I need you guys' input to carry it on to take it in a new direction if that's the way you want it or just to promote it even more so let me know down below uh, i'm going to ask this like i do every week please share the channel with your uh, groups of friends if they're interested because we're still only a small channel and i'd like to see it grow so i can do more for you but I can't do that without you guys. So please pass me around like, I know, like Doritos on game night. Pass me around like a couple of pints in the pub. Let your friends know about it. Let them enjoy it like you were enjoying it. And nothing says like a video from new, from a brush than the ending, which goes like this. On the screen, guys, you can see I've got a Patreon link and i got a PayPal link. If they're not working, the links are down below. I'm asking for your support. And it's just like a dollar, dollar a time. Um, I want to say thank you in advance because that's another way the channel is going to grow. And... Don't feel you have to, because I'm not going to do that to anybody. If you can just give me your views and pass me on to your mates, because 
take a look at this guy, he's talking shit. You might enjoy it for a laugh. That's good enough for me. Because everything you do as a community helps the channel. And thank you very much. I've said it before and i say it again. Without you guys, the channel is nothing. So whatever you do helps the channel. And I'm just going to leave it now by saying thank you very much. I've got a cup of tea to finish. And I hope you enjoy. Comment, like, subscribe. And we'll see what happens through the week. I'm not going to say what contents they are. But we're going to see how we go. Let's see you again, brothers and sisters.